Yo, what's up, hello people, my name is Lakasario from Real Dojo and I'm gonna be your sincer for today. Today, I'm just gonna make a tutorial which is actually a request from a subscriber who wanted to know how to make a translucent material with substrate. And you can see, I just made an example here and I'm gonna walk you through all the process of making this. So, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell to get notification whenever that we post new tutorials so without much ado let's get straight into this tutorial all right so what i'm gonna do right now is to create a material so let's just create a material here i'm just gonna start from scratch so we'll create a material i'm just gonna name it tutorial underscore mat yeah so i got it right here and this is what you're going to get when you activate substrate. If you know, if you want to know how to activate substrate, um, you could check from my previous tutorial, you get all the details in there. So the first thing that you need to do is to click on this note and then change the, the blending mode to translucent. And the next thing that you need to do is to type refraction. We just want to activate the refraction on that note. Um, let me just type refraction and in that node i'm just gonna set its index of refraction so the first thing that i'm gonna do is to bring in a substrate thin which is this the substrate thin film and i'm just gonna node the specular color to diffuse albedo and the edge to the f90 okay so i'm just gonna find more like a noise material here let me see i think this would do and i'll just hook that into my thickness the next thing that i'm gonna do is to add a scalar parameter which is more like going to drive the I R O okay, and then I'll set that to six. I'm just gonna set that to six. Okay, so the next I'm just going to add another scalar parameter here um, to drive the the roughness here. Just gonna name it rough. Uh, maybe set it around like negative one. Maybe, maybe they're about. Next, I'm going to do is to add a transmittance substrate. Transmittance. Gonna add this note. And what I'm going to do here is to add in a vector parameter. Which is more like a color node. Yeah. Just going to name it base. And give it more like a bluish color. Uh, somewhere. Yep. And I'll hook that to the SSMFP. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a normal to this, but uh, it's going to be a flatten normal. Um, that's going to be the texture in part. Okay. And in that, I'm just going to find a normal map here. Let me see if I could find a normal map easily. Okay. So just going to choose this one. You can use any normal map that you want. I'm just trying to use a random normal map, not anything specific. And in here, I'm just going to drive it with um, with a scalar parameter. Okay, I'm just gonna name this normal. And I'll set a value of 0 0.9. Okay, you can even make it larger. Let me see if I can make it one. Um, less, something less, I think. Maybe 0 0.2. You 
kind of get that bumpy in there. Okay. So I think that this is okay for now. The next thing that I'm going to do is in the refraction in this, the refraction part here, I'm just going to add a scalar parameter also here. And in here, I'm just going to name it IOR, maybe two, because I already have one over there. And um, I'm just going to input in here six. You get the drill. All right, so this is going to be my setup. You can see I have this right here. We already have the effect here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to save this. And when we go directly to our tutorial mat, that's the material that we just made. I'm just going to make a material instance out of this. And here we go. This is what we have now. So I just have my material directly here. And I'm going to add it to my statue here. Boom. So you could see directly in the that we have this in the which is kind of similar to the one that we have here and um, i could tune up my roughness i could tune up my normal on this material maybe i want something harder you know maybe something harder what i don't really understand is that i can give it like um a color maybe i want like blue but it's kind of showing me um a more like an inverse version of it so if you really understand what is going on in here you can leave it in the comment section and show me how it's done maybe it's more like how it reacts to the light or something yeah but if you know what's happening in here please leave it in the comment section we are all learning together you know all right so i'm just gonna set it to the the bluish bluish color i'm just gonna find it here something good you know maybe set this to seven make it more ref refractive all right so this is how we do it this is how it's done you can see directly in here we have like cool effects here i made it on this award yeah kind of an award <laughs> yeah and you can see how it's actually reacting with the light and this too you can see how good it is yeah so i'm all right so i'm just gonna end the tutorial here and um if you don't understand anything about a real engine and you want me to make a tutorial please leave it in the comment section and i'm just gonna do it for you and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell button to get notification whenever i post new tutorials all right see you on the next one clockwise <laughs>